And so I want to ask you about this notion of purpose-based marketing. What does that mean and what are the, sort of the best practices for your clients? Well, it seems like it could be a buzzword at the moment. Everybody's talking about it, but it's actually really deeply important and it's a generational shift. Um, I'm mentoring a woman, a young woman in the industry who's been only working for 12 months and already I'm seeing a difference. She's asking what her client's purpose is and what the purpose of the company is she's working at. And it's this generational shift to drive to what are you doing beyond making money and uh, shareholder value? What is your purpose as a company? And so that's something that at Dentsu Aegis we're working to help our clients define and then to activate. So when you say purpose, uh if you're making soap, you're making soap. I mean, what, how do you define purpose or how do you create purpose or how do you understand purpose? Because it's not necessarily always yeah. evident, is it? Well, purpose is, a, is an all-encompassing word. It's about, if you are a soap manufacturer, it's more than just making the soap, it's how do you make the soap? People now want to know where you source the soap, what are the working practices behind that? And so there's a new initiative started called Sustainable Brands, and Dentsu signed up as one of the seven founding sponsors, along with P&G and several other companies, Nestle Waters, because people now want to know are your brands doing good? And so there's a big group now called Brands for Good, and we're, we're part of that. And that's about actually showing tangible proof that you're, you're developing products in a sustainable way, and then you're going to market them to people in a sustainable way. So how do you market the purpose of a company? Is it integrated in terms of a broad marketing mix or something specific or I mean it's a general yeah. question, but how do you get that point across? Yes, I mean purpose and social impact marketing before it sort of bolted on at the side and there was a specialism but now it has to be that sort of red thread right through everything um, it has to stand at the core of what a brand stands for and what a company will will push out and will market um, it's now got to be the sort of solid foundation on which brands are built um, and and let me ask you uh, finally about uh, we've talked a lot over the years about cause marketing and associ brands associating uh, with important causes uh, you know, tell us your thoughts about what, how brands should consider associating with causes, uh, what their commitment should be, and maybe some caution that you may have. Yeah, um, the worst thing a brand can do is, in an, in an unauthentic way, attach themselves to a cause because it seems like a good idea at the time. It's a sort of fleeting, transitory thing. If it comes from a place of authenticity, a place where the brand is anchored, if a brand has concerns about water usage or plastic usage or child labor laws or any of these causes that are inherent in how they bring their products to market, then they should get after that um, because it's integral to their business. So the most important thing is be authentic and bring your brand to the cause and partner with them um, rather than sort of bolting things on.